Hello, welcome to demo for MicroStrategy. The first thing that we're going to you know, uh, discuss about is what is MicroStrategy and why MicroStrategy. A MicroStrategy is an enterprise BI application. That's a business intelligence, uh, business intelligence application software vendor. Uh, in any data warehousing project you work, we have like the back end and the front end. The back end is where you know the entire data gets processed, stores into the table. But the front end, the reporting end is something that actually fetches the data from you and displays the data in a form of reports, documents, and dashboards. A micro strategy as a BI tool, as a business intelligence tool, helps to fetch the data from the data warehouse. And you can represent the data. You can showcase the data into various formats of report, documents, and the flash dashboards. Turning data into reports and the dashboards, that is what every BI product does, right? Like whatever, uh, there are various uh, BI products that you have in the market. Everyone does the same thing. It's just going to fetch the data and display it into the reports and the dashboards. But what MicroStrategy does is it's always a step ahead as compared to the other BI tool. It really turns the data into better and more reliable decision, which boosts the performance and the performance of the organization. So it's MicroStrategy does just not converts your data into reports and the dashboards, but it you can represent the data in such a way that you can make your uh, decisions more reliable and it will al always uh, boost the performance of your organization. The MicroStrategy platform supports interactive dashboards, scorecards, highly formatted reports, ad hoc query, thresholds, alerts, and automated report distribution. So the MicroStrategy as a tool is not only to get the data and you know representing the dashboards. There are like n number of things that you can actually handle in within the MicroStrategy. Of course, you can create the interactive dashboards, scorecards, and formatted reports. But you can even have your ad hoc reporting. You can even have your query. You can have your customized query to be used within the MicroStrategy report. You can have your web services call within MicroStrategy report. You can have various advanced thresholds, conditional formatting, setting out alerts, transactional reports, and even the automated report distribution. When I say automated report, report distribution, is that you're scheduling a report and sending out to the various users so that you know they really don't even if they don't log into the micro strategy they will have the required data in front of them micro strategy bi suite is provided with in memory bi acceleration technology when i say in memory it always uses the you know olap functionality online analytical processing so that all the tasks can be done significantly faster a user has to wait for the results of querying noticeably shorter. So user, you really don't have to wait for a longer period of time. As soon as they click on the report, my data will be generated very quickly. So the micro strategy is something, it's only not reliable, but it's also very quick. It gives you the data very quickly, the way it's been designed, the way it's been architected. So that's how, like, what is micro strategy and why micro strategy? So there are like n number of uh, Functionalities and number of features that we really have within the micro strategy that differentiates from the other BI tool. Automated maintenance, immediate application development and deployment, multi dimensional data sources support, quick, quick start of new application, expanded geo mapping capabilities. These are the features with micro strategy BI suite distinguishes itself from its previous releases as well as the other vendor solutions. So if you look over here, we have the automated maintenance. You really do not have a need, need to have a person to you know really maintain all the environment. We can get this thing entire automated and it will be really, it can throw us an alert if something gets out of space, something which is not working. There are a lot of automations uh, you know, uh, with respect to the system manager that you can really handle it. You have the application which can be easily deployed and developed. That's the main thing, right? I mean, you really do not have uh, days to really deploy an application. MicroStrategy, it, trust me, it's, a, it's very immediate. All the, the application can be developed as well as deployed very quickly. MicroStrategy also supports the multidimensional data sources. 
and you can even have your expanded geo mapping capabilities. So within the report, you can even have your Google map integration done. ERSA map integration can be done. So it's not only about the reporting, you can even track the locations. You can, you can, you can analyze the data uh, from the geo, uh, you know, the entire uh, geo mapping uh, perspective. Which regions, which countries are performing good, uh, which region has you know the higher highest revenue and there are n number of things that you can you know really compare with so these are the features really which uh, micro strategy distinguishes itself from the other pi tools there is a micro strategy as an ro lab when i say an ro lab it's a relational online and it's structure which will really allow you to drill anywhere within the entire relational database all the way down to the transaction level detail as well so if you're, if you're running a report at the summarized level, it's not that it's a static report. Like, okay, if you run the report, it's at the summarized level, and within that, you can, you can actually drill down or drill across at any particular level within the same hierarchy or across the hierarchies. You can, you can just get to the details as granular as possible till the transaction level. So you can have your data, looked from a different angles, looked from the different uh, dimensions and you can really drill anywhere within the architecture. MicroStrategy also has an optimization for all major relational database and data warehouse vendors and can access multi-dimensional databases and flat files. So MicroStrategy is compatible with everything. You take any relational database, MicroStrategy can work very well with that particular database and they can also access the multi-dimensional databases and flat files. If you look over here, these are the sample MicroStrategy dashboards and they are like very beautiful dashboards which gives the information about the various airports. So if you look at this particular sample uh, dashboards, you can really see within a one page, you will have a, uh, a multi uh, information that can be seen so like you can have a top 10 world airports it's not about the only the grid data or the graph data you're looking at the grid graph combination entire trend throughout the last 12 months how the passage is performing what, what how what is the number of passengers flowing from one airport to the other and all the all the trends year on year trends uh, percentage of domestic versus the international passengers you have the dynamic images and so on. So if you look over here, I have a dynamic images which gives me the, you know, the information, of, more information about the airport along with the monthly trends. I have one more dashboard which gives me around the customer regional analysis, which says, okay, based on the various region, I have all the sales information, all the customer information that I can incorporate within the same dashboards. So here, if you look over here, the micro strategy really offers a good dashboards. So based on your various KPI, the key performance indicators, you can have your various level of dashboards, various level of detailed data that can be incorporated within the same page of your dashboards. So if, if, I, if I'm a user and I run this dashboard, I can really see the data across various uh, from the various perspective, from the various dimension, and this is really going to help me to make my decision. So if you look over here, I have something called as, you know, how many are my new, are the lost customers. So even if this gives you a kind of a trend for the new and the lost customers, and even I have a monthly regional sales, which I can see the data for the revenue versus profit. This is something, another dashboard, which will give me a, kind of an income statement. So what is my total revenue, profit, earnings before the interest and the taxes, revenue and the income trends, and net income scenario analysis. So it's not the micro strategy test, but not, not only just give me the revenue information from the customers or from the airports and nothing. If you look over here, I can have n number of uh, dashboards uh, for the various dimensions, for the various uh, line of business, and so on. So MicroStrategy can you know, showcase your data from any angle, any kind of a data can be represented over here. If you look over here, this is another dashboard which gives me the transportation information. It's not only about the transportation, it says, okay, what is the economic indicators? What is my population? So whatever the department I select, based on that, I can get all the country-wise 
data what is my change year on year what is my year on year percentage growth population growth and everything so if you look within the same dashboards i'm really seeing the, uh, all the information all the transportation information all the population performance data over here and there is one more that i have to show you something with respect to the hr data so even if if you if you're working in an organization where you always maintain the head counts all the things can be incorporated as an as, a, as an hr there are various kpis which are listed over here the head count the planned head count who are the full time employees who are the part time employees how many positions are vacant every information from the hr can be represented and if only you're showing the data you're not showing the data in the form of a grid and a graph you're also showing the data as an status it says okay if it's spa i'm going to show us as a green color if it's something you know uh, um, not that uh, just uh, line in line with the bar it's going to give me the orange if it's a below bar it's going to give me the red color so even you are displaying a various status indicators that will be really helpful to get all the required information so if you look over here why micro strategy what is micro strategy as i said the micro strategy is a bi tool i would say it's a very powerful bi tool which supports any kind of relational database you can have it's an r uh, it supports the r olaf feature so it's not that you're uh, looking at the data only at the one level at one point of time you can just drill across entire dimension or the other dimension or the same dimension or you can even see the data across uh, other dimension to get the data at the granular level or at the transactional level micro strategy also supports the automation with respect to your system maintenance your application deployment and there are uh, you can even send out the alerts the email distributions so there are a lot of things that micro strategy can handle and it really uh, differentiates from the another bi tool micro strategy it's not only any data specific you can have any kind of a data across any domain you can represent on top of micro strategy so if you if you are maintaining the hr database if you are maintaining the population database if if it's a kind of a retail data any kind of a data you can just you know show it in within the micro strategy dashboards micro strategy dashboard is not only that you know you can uh, see the data in one format you can incorporate the data in various formats like grid graph widgets and so on so this is why like you know uh, we have walked through why micro strategy what is micro strategy thank you so much for joining in